So what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are talking about outdoor clothing, or like I like to call it, survival tech wear. And before I actually get in the video, let me please make this disclaimer. On this channel, I would never do any videos about Prada, Balenciaga, Saint Laurent, Gucci, things of that nature. Because even though those clothes look really nice, they can't do anything to benefit you in a real life situation. And at the end of the day, those clothes are really not beneficial. So like you guys already know, winter is closely arriving. This is a perfect time to start thinking about getting clothes for the cold weather. And I got an awesome article of clothing for you guys. Now, what if you took old firefighter uniform and bulletproof vest and made a sweater? I know that's ridiculously crazy, but the clothes guards in Volabat, that's what they decided to do. In their infinite wisdom, they basically took a bunch of old firefighter uniforms and bulletproof vests and decided to make a sweater, a sweater from them. I think this thing is totally awesome. I can't wait to show it to you guys. So what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to throw some information on the screen for you guys to check it out. I'm going to try it on for you to see how kind of how it fits. And then I'm going to tell you guys what I actually think about the sweater. So this is the Volaback Garden Sweater. Uh, this is exactly how it comes in this box right here. Uh, it's a little bit different than the other article of clothing that I've gotten from Volaback. I will say that every time that Volaback does send something, uh, they do send the send it in uh, a decent packaging, but this is definitely different than anything else that um, I've gotten from Volaback. So let me just open it up for you guys. So right here, that is the sweater right there. Um, Uh, the first thing that comes to mind when I actually opened this sweater and grabbed it was that it is really, really heavy. It seems extremely weighted. That's one of the first things I noticed um, when I got it. I couldn't believe how heavy it was. So it's definitely very heavy. You know, it felt, it feels like it's, it's very well built. Uh, the seams seems to be stitched really well. And something awesome about this is uh, the materials being used. So Volaback basically used two different materials in creating this right here. So basically the first one was something called Mega Armid. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. If I am, just correct me. But that's the material that they use to make firefighter uniforms. And the second material used to create this sweater was something called Para Armid. And that's the material used to make bulletproof vests. So essentially this sweater is 70% Mega Armid and 30% Para Armid. Now it's definitely not bulletproof, but it is fire resistant. So let me just try it on for you guys to see how it looks. All right, so basically guys, this is the sweater um, that I, and I have it on. Um, my first impression as far as wearing it is, it seems to be extremely, extremely warm. Um, I think that when I wear this sweater, I don't see a need for me to have like, a coat or a jacket on over it because I think that it would definitely um, keep you warm without having those things. I'd probably wear maybe a t-shirt and a base layer. I, I think other than that, it's all you really need um, for the cold weather. So as you guys can already tell, it has the three buttons right here. I'll go ahead and button it up for you. All right, and this is how the sweater looks buttoned up. It does has a, a kind of a casual feel to it. It doesn't seem to be too rugged or uh, too outdoorsy. It seems like something that you can actually wear to a, uh, a nice event. Um, maybe with some uh, khaki pants or something like that. 
but it's definitely really good too. Um, I have a t-shirt under it, you guys already know. So it, it actually feels soft to my skin. It doesn't feel bad at all. Now, initially when I had bought this sweater, I had got a uh, extra, extra large and it was just really too big. Now, as you guys already know that um, I definitely want to have clothing that I can wear a concealed vest underneath. And maybe I could have pulled it off with the extra, extra large, but it just was really, really big. So I sent it back and Bala Black sent me a um, extra large pronto. Guys, look, this is the sweater. It's definitely uh, wind resistant. Uh, like I said, it's fire repellent. It is not bulletproof, but it definitely feels good. I think that this would be a good Christmas gift to the survivalists uh, in your family or the outdoorsmen in your family. I think something like this would be good for going hunting or just everyday wear, but it's just good to know that I have something to, um, that will protect me against the elements and definitely um, extreme weather. So that's why I think ball back is so awesome. Um, the fact that they're using these materials is something that ball back always does. They always go above and beyond. And they use all these different, they always experiment with using these different materials. And every time when they do create something, it seems to always be off the chain. Um, it's definitely different. But at the end of the day, Ballin' Back seems to be ahead of the game and definitely ahead of the time. But um, so guys, I just wanted to throw this on for you guys. Um, for those of you who are actually considering to uh, buying the garden sweater, I would definitely say go ahead and do it. Seems like a really good investment. So like always guys, I really appreciate everybody taking out the time to watch the video. Um, we're at 700 subscribers right now. I'm trying my best to get to a thousand. If there's anything I said that was beneficial to you in any way, I said you please hit the like button. And if you're interested in survival wear, survival gear, stuff like that, then this is definitely a channel for you. Not as to subscribe. And if you guys have anything to say, please comment. I comment, I read everything, I definitely comment back. Um, also, guys, um, I think the next three videos I'm gonna do for all my volleyball fans, I'm just gonna do three volleyball videos back to back. Um, like I said, it is getting cold. And I know a lot of you guys are interested in seeing that content. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those out uh, right after I start shooting this video here. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.